Get ready. Disney California Adventure officially became the second park at Disneyland Resort when it opened in 2001. After a troubled opening, the park has since become a fan favourite and in 2019 hosted a total of 9.8 million visitors. This makes the park one of the top 15 most visited in the world. Many people enjoy this park because there is no other Disney park like it. Themed around the state of California, the park offers 8 different lands with a total of 37 attractions. Furthermore, the park also boasts some unique attractions such as the Incredicoaster not found anywhere else in the world. In this list, we count down our top 6 tips for Disney California Adventure. Get ready! Number 6. Get a Fast Pass for World of Colour The first of our top tips for Disney California Adventure is to get a Fast Pass for World of Colour. World of Colour is a fluorescent water show that takes place on the water surrounding Pacific Wharf. The show truly is spectacular and we recommend everyone who visits the park does their best to attend. What a lot of people don't know is that it's actually possible to get a fast pass for the show. On busy days it can be hard to get a good viewing spot, but with a fast pass you not only ensure that you get a good spot, but you also get a comfortable spot and are not cramming between people to get a good view. You can get a fast pass for World of Colour near the Little Mermaid, Ariel's Undersea Adventure as soon as you get into the park. However, we do recommend getting yours early as fast passes are limited so if you leave it too late you may miss out. Number 5. Grab breakfast inside the park before official opening. When it comes to making the most of your Disney experience, you'll likely hear tips like arrive as early as possible. We 100% agree with this, but one thing we don't agree with is not having breakfast in order to do so. Going into the park on an empty stomach can be a recipe for disaster, as you'll soon find your energy levels dropping fast. What a lot of people don't know is that Bonavista Street opens 30 minutes before the park's official opening time. Therefore, it's possible to kill two birds with one stone in your quest to arrive early, but also make sure you get something to eat. Let us know in the comments below where you think the best place to grab breakfast is in Disney California Adventure. Number 4. Make use of charging lockers in the park. It's no secret that many people lock to document their Disney experience using their phone. As a result of all this picture taking, videoing, texting, phones may die, and this can be really stressful for some people. Furthermore, if your mobile phone dies in the park, it may stop you from communicating and coordinating with other members of your group. In order to alleviate this stress, Disney California Adventure offers lockers that attendees can rent for $2 per hour. We feel that having a charge phone is important on a lot of different levels when in the park. Some people may prefer to bring in their own portable charging batteries, however, for convenience sake, we would recommend using charging lockers to make sure you stay connected. Number 3. Enjoy an alcoholic drink in select areas of the park. Now, by no means are we trying to encourage drinking here. However, it's no secret that some people enjoy a drink during their trip to the parks. One thing to remember is that all alcohol must be consumed at the place of purchase. Therefore, your drink will be confiscated if you breach this rule. If you do decide to have a drink while visiting Disney California Adventure, then it's important you know where to go. It's possible to get a beer at the food court near Pixar Pier, and Carte Circle Restaurant has a nice downstairs bar. In addition to this, if wine is your thing, you can head down to wine country Trattoria. Having a drink can be a nice way to help you relax during your visit. However, it's important to note, if you get too intoxicated inside the park, you will be asked to leave. Let's be honest, nobody wants that. So make sure you drink responsibly and enjoy your day. Number two, prepare to get very wet on Grizzly River Run. Water rides can be an acquired taste at theme parks. For some people, there's nothing better than a steep drop and a big splash. However, for others, the thought of getting soaking wet is a nightmare. Our personal opinion is that a water ride can be a great way to cool down during a hot day. In addition to this, it's also pretty fun. Grizzly River Run at Disney California Adventure is one of those water rides that guarantees a good soaking. In fact, Disney Imagineers purposely designed this attraction with the intention to make riders as wet as possible. As a result, people can become frustrated, especially if their belongings get wet during the ride. In order to avoid this, we would recommend availing of the free lockers, which can be found near the entrance of the ride. Water rides are fun, but it's not fun if your belongings get soaked or damaged. Number 1. Make sure you visit Pixar Pier early. Coming in at number 1 on our top tips list is visiting Pixar Pier early in the day. Pixar Pier is one of the most popular lands in the park, 
This is mainly due to the fact that it boasts top tier attractions such as the Credit Coaster and Toy Story Mania. As you may have guessed, this line can become extremely crowded on busy days. Also, wait times can become especially long. And on top of this, due to the park's nighttime show World of Colour, the land actually closes earlier than the rest of the park. This means that if you leave the land until the end of the day, you may not get to experience everything. Another thing to consider here is that wait times are generally less at theme parks in the morning. In order to make sure you get the best experience possible, we recommend you visit its land as early as possible. If you like this video, make sure you check out our top tips for Disneyland California on screen now, or head over to our channel for even more theme park content. That concludes our top tips list for Disney California Adventure. Now you're ready. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.